Where are you in the championship? So I'm, I'm leading I'm the rookie the championship, day. which is the There is a bit. rookie championship, is there? Well, for anybody that's never scored an overall podium. So you could have done it for 10 years, but if you haven't yeah. scored a podium. And that is, what's that called? The Jack Sears Trophy. So okay. Jack Sears was the first person to win British Touring Park. And you're in, you, are you leading that at the moment? Yep. By how much? 14 precious points. Our final qualifying session of the season for the final three races on the full Grand Prix circuit here at Brands Hatch. Ash Sutton coming here with those 10 wins, just two to Tom Ingram. It's a real credit to how he has been banking points that he's still in the title fight. Yeah, no, I'm feeling good. Um, I think the nerves will really kick in when qualifying comes and, and the, the pressure's on there. So it's the final round of the British Touring Car Championship 2023. And we've come here with a 45 point lead. So it's, um, it's looking good, pressure's on to claim my fourth title. It's between me and Tom. As far as the championship is concerned though, of course it is Ash Sutton versus Tom Ingram. Well, final, final weekend of the season. It's amazing how quickly it's actually come round. So Ash has a, has a big points lead, well into the 40s, 45, 46 points. So realistically, we need Ash to have a, a, an absolute Western. But even if Ash were to have an absolute Western, we would then need a great weekend to then be able to overturn a, a 40 something point deficit. So yeah, we need a bit of luck. We need a little bit of lady luck, but it could very easily be over after the first race. Uh, is he going to take, if you like, the weekend by the scruff of the neck and try and grab pole and try and win races, or is he just going to bank point? So Brands has GP, for me, it's the best place in the country. You know, it's the best place to race. Achievements this weekend, you know, we're just going to get out there for race wins. You know, we've got nothing else to prove. We are where we are. Obviously, potentially, you know, there might, there might be some opportunity for me to be pulled into play for, to help Ash. Part of being, part of being in, in the team that is Napa, you know, it's, we're all happy to help each other, which is great. But, I, you know, potentially that might happen again, so who knows. Tom Ingram making his way down the pit lane. Just to remind you, it is 45 points uh, between Ash Sasson and Tom Ingram. Colin Turkington fights back and goes quicker still on a 1 minute 30 uh, point 637. Then Stephen Jelly goes up to the top of the times. And then Sutton, Sutton with his first flyer is up there on a 30.2, 2.9, you 30.3. With Dan Robossum riding shotgun on the road, so Robossum is up to second. Yeah, to summarise, it is a supporting role. I mean, obviously I want to go out there for race wins, but ultimately, you know, if the championship is at stake, I'm, you know, we're, I think I'm prepared to do it. I think everybody in the team's prepared to do it. So, as I say, we're, we're there to support, so fingers crossed. In terms of the approach to the weekend, you have to aim as high as possible in the overall standings. If you're in around the top 10 all weekend or even scoring an overall podium like, like we have this year, it's very hard for people <laughs> to beat you then. So, But yeah, it's going to be an interesting weekend. Very busy, a lot of guests, sponsors, a lot of media attention. You know, I'm really just going to try and enjoy it. And, um, yeah, end the season on a high. And off the road has gone George Gamble and he's damaged the front of the car and he's damaged the tyres. He's in red flag, red flag. <laughs> red flag, red flag, mate, red flag. <laughs> Copy, red flag, red flag. It's a red flag, they've got to do barrier repair, but he had uh, a tyre stack and an Armco barrier, which of course does deflect much more than a, a concrete wall. So, for you, for your reference. 30.8, 30.8. 30, 30, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.5, you are 31.6. Ingram, 31.3, Robottom, 31.4. So, you've got yourself a 10 for now if you'll be on pole. So, what do you need in the car for your next run? Oh, okay. Any indication? No, it's just tyre wall damage, so, you know, it depends how long it takes them. So, there's a big bloke doing it is. I just said to the other car, I'll never be more than a minute away, because that's usually yeah. all we get. Just with the gamble that went off, he's in the pit lane. Uh, okay. He shouldn't be allowed back out now, though. Well, if he's had assistance from out of the gravel or whatever, then he shouldn't be allowed out. Green light, green flag, we're back up and running then, the clock starts once more. This is Andrew Watson going down pit lane then in the Carlstore Power Max Racing Box or Astro, the Gen Sears Trophy uh, Championship leader. Oh, that was very wide, this is huge commitment and some would say risk from Ash Sutton, but uh, oh, that is a 29.9, I take it back. Fastest lap so far and the first person in the 29s. This is Michael Dover we're with and the other of the Astros. Um, where is Dover at the time? It's 10th fastest, so he's ahead of what he needs to do for Genesis Trophy Rolls. The 
basically we can do four fast laps, come in, put two fronts on, do another three. Yeah. Any more than that, we'll run out of fuel. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget about fuel. So on board with Ingram into 13s now, back with the power horns, the car out the other side. Ash Sutton has gone yet faster, 129.823. Heading up towards the line, just under four minutes on the clock as he heads towards the line. Third he was at the start of the lap, breaks the beat, stays third. That was a one minute 30.159, so 29,000 shy. So Ingram's just had a go on four new scrubs and he hasn't improved. Yeah, I think we're just wasting tyres now. Comes Tom Ingram and on this lap, again, he's been down in the second to semi bales, comes into the pits early. Tom Ingram, outgoing champion potentially, reigning champion. Uh, third in the times. Ash Sutton is the fastest. He's seemingly backed off on this lap as well. Just 10 qualifying sessions. Uh, and yes, so many different circuits, always with that limitation on the hybrid, and yet he delivers. So you're watching an absolute masterclass. Not just Ash, but the relationship between him and Tony Carosa. Savour it. Enjoy Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We're watching one of the all time touring car greats. Yes, indeed. We are P13, not P13. So, good result. Bit off. Uh, made a little mistake on my best lap, but there wasn't a whole lot more in it. Okay. So, not lot. I mean, did anyone go quicker at the end? No, I didn't see anyone improving. No. I think, yeah, it was just like every corner was like a tenth, two tenths. So, track definitely dropped away. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just wondered at the brakes. Hold it back a little bit, but at least we have. Well, we've got we've got plenty in the arsenal for tomorrow now. Yeah. Um, so. The other thing as well, looking at that, there's only Doble in front of us. Yeah. All right. That's you fine. know. Yeah. Doble in front. Everyone's behind. That's uh, that's good, man. I'll take that. Yeah. Nice one. Cool. No worries. When I was in 18th, I was like. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you pulled it out. out. Yeah, yeah. But that that lap, the gamble went off. Yeah. Was, you were, you were green, green, and then he went. So we'll have a look in the data just to see if that would have been a bit quicker. I don't know if it would have been quicker than that, but... Right. Yeah, I didn't quite go to plan. Would have liked to have been at least in the top 10. But we've got to think of the bigger picture for tomorrow. We're right behind Dobal. He's the only Jack Sears person in front of us. P13 is still quite a good result to get. Driver's happy. All we've got to do now is push. Looking to fight every inch tomorrow get that trophy. Yeah, I had to have a punt in the end. Well, no, not really. But if I turn around and said, bleed it down by one bar, it doesn't feel right, does it? But I think uh, my judgments to tyre pressure didn't quite work, because they were hotter than I thought. So you'll see two six, that might be why. We didn't quite get anywhere there. But um, I don't think the track was going that much faster, to be honest. We ash, ash crept a bit, but I think he only went like another tenth on top. But uh, well done. Good. good job. It's good. Yeah, qualifying was a, a special one. We've uh, managed to break the record of, of number of poles in the season with six. So what a, a perfect way to, to start the weekend. Extra point for doing it, which is uh, always a bonus. And then, yeah, we've just got to get off the line cleanly. Stay in front of Tom if we can in race one, and that should, in theory, wrap up what we've got as a championship. So, I'd love to say I'd have a beer tonight, but that's not an option. <laughs> but look, we'll, uh, we'll make sure we've got a good race car under us, make sure we get some good sleep. That's always uh, the bit I've struggled with on a, a championship weekend is, is the sleep on the Saturday night. But good bit of food, debrief with the team, and uh, wake up fresh as a daisy tomorrow. To be part of, there's no two ways about it, but best team on the grid as it stands. You look at what we're doing as a team, you look at what Ash is doing. To be breaking each record every weekend, you go in, you go, right, we've got a real good opportunity here. Break records, put our name in the history book. And the end goal is the championship overall for, for Ash at the moment. So as a team, we're all working towards that. But for us, it'll be called doing manufacturers. To, to break BMW's run, that will be massive for us. And, then to secure the teams for Napa would be awesome as well. So 
there's a box to be ticked for everyone, but to be part of a record-breaking team as it stands at the moment, and we're only, we're only going forwards. It's really, really impressive. To be a champion in the British Touring Car Championship would be my dream from, from when I was a young child. There's a million and one stars that need to align to make it happen. It's not an overnight process. It's not a, oh, he's had the right car at the right time. Karting, looking up at the likes of Jason Plato, Matt Neal, those guys. How many years and hours and minutes and seconds and everything of blood, sweat and tears that go into that, that process? The stat for me that I'm more excited about is being the only driver to, to win a championship in both rear-wheel drive cars and front-wheel drive cars. That's something that really goes down for me in the history books, to be the first. It doesn't necessarily feel like it's ours to win as opposed as, as more ashes to lose. This is British Touring Cars. We know how, how quickly things can change. We, like I said, surviving race one is, is crucial. We almost have one hand on the trophy. Qualified people yesterday got a good chance of some silverware today. Obviously race one is going to be about protecting ash as much as possible. Very much a, a supporting role today. Tom is, as we know, he's last year's champion. He, he knows what he's doing. So we just need to try and put some, put some distance between him and, him and Tom, really. Pretty zen is the word I'm using today. So yeah, can't complain. All in good stead. Get off the line. See what we can do. Now my feeling, um, I'd like the race to start. I'm, I'm willing the start of the race on. Um, yeah, I mean the job is to be to do exactly what we normally do. That's why we're in the position we're in. But obviously uh, we've got at stake this weekend. Um, yeah, there's a few more butterflies, a few more nerves, um, but. As long as everybody just does what they've been doing all year, we'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Was that your mum we were talking to earlier? Can you tell by the way she was like, it's a bit yeah, cool. Well, I, I, but... That's why I went like that, because I thought she was going to get her anky and go. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what mum wants. Yeah, and I'm 52. You look a bit scruffy today. The old TV man came to a close up for me eating a donut earlier. <laughs> So I sort of hope that goes out live, like a, a 90s <laughs> yeah. in your face. Last time for race three, we did a complete roll swap as well. So the entire car crew, we all shuffled rolls around. So I became a mechanic. Number one became an engineer. I think that might happen again. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I have a 100% win rate as a mechanic as well. We are still going <laughs> with the manufacturers as well, by the way. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Um, it's always quite nice to do this. Where's Tilly? I missed that. I don't care, I just want to go really fast. <laughs> Where's Matt? He's got the wheels on him. How many interviews have you done this morning? Too many. Far too many. Are you sitting comfortable? Done. Grand job. <coughs> done your ITV? Done. Can we fire it up, yeah? Fire up, mate.
very much so. As under control as it can be at this point. Rory's on a medium though. Yeah, yeah Rory on, Rory's on medium. It's Robo on medium. Thompson's on some. Quite interesting, this thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is uh, this is just another race. Sutton starting on pole position. He is the hunted, and really, Tim, he wants to win the race and get it out of the way, get rid of the pressure. His whole mindset, demeanour, everything about the team is he's going out to win this race. He'll be a little relieved to see Rory Butcher on the medium tyre because that sort of almost rules him out of competitiveness, but he's got his arch rival right behind him. Uh, now, we've been hearing that Rory was hoping or thinking he might have been on the soft. He is on the uh, medium tyre and of course once you've declared it you can't change so he's now got to go medium. Thank you. Ash Sutton on pole position. Championship leader. This the reigning champion. One fears the outgoing champion but Tom Ingram has given it a valiant effort. Remember, ten wins to Sutton, two to Ingram. A championship could be decided within the half hour then, as round 28 of the Quick Fifth British Touring Car Championship is set to go. Lights go red, lights out, and he's blast off. Great start by Rory Butcher, not a demon stop really by Ash Sutton, but he's going to just have the inside line look on the way towards Paddock Hill Bend. Butcher comes up to challenge on the outside. Goes to the inside against Butcher. Rory tries to cover off the line. Ingram's up the curb and elbows out. Ingram goes second. Stuff it up the inside if he wants to have any chance. A lunge on the on the way into 30s. Wow, that's showed intent, doesn't it? Ingram's gonna really go for it. Ingram is not gonna take this line down. He's not gonna make it easy. He's not just gonna give it away to Ash Sutton. Over the timing line he comes and Ash Sutton dives up towards Paddock Hill Bend. Mikey Doble up in ninth. And it's Mikey Doble, his main rival in that Jack Sears trophy for drivers that have not had an outright podium. Hybrid is available, the guitar's ready. Let's go for fastest lap. Sutton has already broken the lap record. It was a 30.5. His lap of the 30.2 is a new lap record. He has the fastest lap. So as it stands, if we had fastest lap, even if Ingram wins, we still win the championship. Bobby Thompson is not going to give up. He's all the way around the outside at Sheen Curve. He might be in jeopardy on the outside. They touch on the grass. Is Thompson? He hangs onto it, but that brings Robottom back into the mix. What a battle! Uh, looking back from Mikey Doble's car and Adam Morgan, who's almost in the boot, then looking for a way through. They could not be closer. Yeah, he's got to finish, hasn't he, to uh, close that points gap on Watson. Till to the outside of Robottom as they head up towards Paddock. This is for Finn, but Robo stands his ground. He's under huge pressure from two BMWs now. Watson a little bit wide coming out of Sheen Curve. Very wide out of Sheen Curve. He's off the road, he's through the gravel, and that has given Bobby Thompson the place. Absolutely give rat. Butcher is a left front puncture. He's on medium. And Doval hopes for a Jack Sears trophy win in the race. Five to go. Gap is constant at 1.3. Mikey Dobel, and that's significant for the Jack Sears Trophy. That, I think, is at Sterling's. He's gone straight on. Safety car, flags and board. Safety car, flags and board. The last thing, the last thing that Ash Sutton needed right now was a safety car. That looks like a failure, unless he's got punted. <laughs> OK, just letting you know, there's a recovery truck on the circuit, but I'm sure you've passed it now. Mikey Doble asked to remove, the sweeping of the gravel is next. Safety car in at the end of this lap. Safety car in at the end of this lap. This is lap number 16, we'll get two racing laps. Ingram has one lap of hybrid, this is for the championship. Oh, oh boy, Ash Sutton trying to get it signed and sealed right now as he crosses the line. And hybrid 
is being used by Ingram on this lap. This is his chance. He's got to do it on this lap. The blue light was flashing. This is his only lap. Look how it's helped him close up. Final lap. Ingram has no hybrid. With one lap to go, champion elect Ash Sutton turns into Paddock Hill Bend. Another corner ticked off. Ash Sutton getting closer and closer and closer to the title. Come on, Ash. One more corner to go, Ash Sutton will bring it home. Race win number 11, title number 4. He's won in front wheel drive and rear wheel drive machinery, the 2023 Quickly British Touring Car Champion. It's Ash Sutton, Ash Sutton wins the title in race 1 at Brands Hatch. I just don't know what to say. I generally don't know what to say. I can't thank Napa Racing UK enough, the team, everyone that's involved. Four time BTCC champion! Come on! Front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, the records keep tumbling. Well done. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Well done. Slow down a bit, we've got to make it up here. Ash Sutton, four time British touring car champ, did well done. A fantastic job done by Ash, by Tony Carosa, by Alliance Racing, Pete Osborne's team, and just a superb job all round. Yeah, you can relief relief now. Uh, yeah. We can unleash the real ash Sutton now, can't we? <laughs> yeah. Sort of that kind of went to plan. I'm not I don't know where my emotions sit at the minute. I've not quite processed it, so we'll soon find out. I'm a mechanic for the next two. Oh, is that what you're playing? Yeah. You're gonna rotate the rods. <laughs> yeah. Who's engineering? Oh I don't know. We'll get the uh Sophie. the junior Sophie, yeah. <laughs> Step number two with the 16th podium of the year, last year's champion, Tom Ingram. Go, Tom. Here comes Dingus. And Tom Ingram steps on the second step of the podium for round 28. And on the top step of the podium, he's broken records all year. Please welcome a four time champ, Ash Sutton. Ash makes his way to the podium. His 19th podium of the year, his 11th win of the year, a fastest lap as well, and the winner's trophy in the hands of Ashley Sutton. I don't know, I'm still sinking in at the minute, but four time champion, the first driver to only go out and, and do it in, in front wheel drive and rear wheel drive. It's, that's the bit I was really, really chasing. So I just want to say a real massive thank you to Napa Racing UK, Alliance Racing, those guys there, the, the Osborne family, they've done an absolutely mega job with supplying me the right bit of kit to do what I love doing the most. <laughs> I wish I could go to the bar if I'm really honest and miss the last two and just have a, and have a few beers, but we're going to go out, we're going to try and go out in style, we're going to get off the line again, we'll be starting from the front, try and get another win if we can and uh, see what we can do in race three. You alright? <laughs> yeah, good mate, all good. Well, she's finally got the number one on it. You were 50% of this mate. Are you on the beers for us already? Yeah, good yeah, lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to win stuff by being punted off no. the track. No, not at all. But if you saw an own goal, if someone scores an own goal, it's still a goal for you, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I, it is, yeah. it is real it, it is real <laughs> shit for Mikey. I don't think that call was right for soft, is it? It's a bit too warm. 
Should have gone. They're out the way now. Should have okay. gone me. Yeah, I know they're out the way, but should have gone me. We need one, one more, and then race three. To, let <laughs> to be fair, I don't actually know where he come in the race. 14th then, I don't know. We weren't really looking on overall title, I was just uh, looking who was in front on Jack Sears. So we've done one, P1 Jack Sears. Just need another one, and the day's done. Can't be too confident, because you never know what'll happen. It's harsh on Mikey, and it's, well, it's really shit on Mikey to be fair, but I've got to concentrate back on my car and go from there. You've got two races left. Yep. Brand is the long one. Yep, the big one. You're leading the Jack Sears Trophy, which is, as you've just explained to me, for people <laughs> that have never had an overall podium in touring cars. Yep. So actually there's loads of people in there that have been doing the sport for many years. Yeah, well, I've kind of shot myself in the foot because I've had an overall podium now. So if I don't win the championship, <laughs> it's, my, it's my last attempt. So it's going to have to be done this year. Yeah, the guy in second is also my teammate, which adds a little bit of seasoning uh, on top, which is great. But I've, I, I'm, we've, we've always had the most sarcastic friendship. They're, they're, you know, being nice to each other doesn't come naturally. So I'm going to no. deliver this with a straight face. The very best of luck for the rest of the year, and I actually mean it sincerely, but I also mean I want to go in your car and we do that pub thing afterwards. Is that a deal? That's, uh, well, yeah, yeah, for the sake of the camera, that's a deal. Well done. When you look over the course of a season, there's so many up and downs for everybody. It was so tough this year with so many strong competitors and some that have been around here a couple of years, so it was firmly our goal at the start of the year, and sometimes I guess we play that down about how much we're thinking about it and how much we're targeting it. You know, it has been the thing that we're all fighting for. To get that done will just be incredible, and, you know, everything that goes with it. It's looking, it's looking a bit easier. Uh, I just have to finish this race. And that's it. I say just, but in the British touring cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nervous as <laughs> Nervous as <laughs> But he'll go and do his job, so that's all we need to worry about. What does it take to be a champion in BTCC? A hell of a good team, I would say. They have one a team. They work 110% all the time. They just want to win as well. It's all about being the underdog in the big boy fight. I don't think anyone at the team turns up to just be in the midfield. We all want to be up there on the podium every weekend. The three minute pod. Good luck. Let us do the racing and let us uh, get our results. We will get our results. Go get them, mate. Safety car, race to the boards, race to the boards. So the safety car, hopefully, could be in this time. Safety car in this lap, safety car in this lap. Close the gap, close the gap. Yeah. Safety 
Sutton's gone. He's on. So Ash Sutton then charges away, trying to build that gap over to Ingram. So there's going to be a lot of shuffling around, I think, in this race as Jake Hill goes through with Dan Robottom right up behind him. Hill on the medium tyre, Robo on the soft. Robottom ahead of Thompson, but then Robo goes wide and Thompson fights back on the inside line heading up the hill. Further back, Andrew Watson is in 19. He just needs to bring this home, really, so he will win the Jack Sears. Andrew Watson coming up for attack now. Look, Mikey Dover has made good progress through the pack. Watson's dropping down and through the order. Oh, contact! Aidan Moffat leaning on the Cooper, Jade Edwards gets caught up in it, Sam Osborne gets caught up in it, Andrew Watson's about to lose out to Mikey Dobell, I'm not convinced that's just discretion because Dobell's gone storming past him. There, Aaron Taylor-Smith rides the curb, goes wide, Rory Hunter on the inside line. More debris on the road there, but yeah, all of a sudden Aaron Taylor-Smith has got a problem because he drops right back. Sam Osborne getting a bit aggressive as he tries to get himself up through the order. Gordon, James Gordon for the back 17 to drama going into Padder. Oh no! Yeah, you okay? Safety car, safety car, race the boards, race the boards. If he stays where he is, does he win? Yeah, he does. The points cover off now, yeah? Pound the slow. Safety car coming in. We're racing again for the last lap of the penultimate round of the championship. Sutton, Ingram, Camish, Collard is the top four as they dive through Paddock. Round 29, won by Ash Sutton. Tom Ingram is second, Dan Camish third. And the Jack Sears Trophy champion is Andrew Watson who takes the title at the end of his first touring car season. <laughs> Andrew Watson, you are the Jack Shears champion. Proud of you. Cheers, boys. Come on, Dan. Round of applause. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, what a result. Thank right you so much. Right on, mate. Right. Thank you. That's fing wicked, Dan. It's only the best rookie you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Well done, mate. You deserve one. Thank you. Well done, you. Yes, thank you. I said, how do you like that, your documentary? Okay. You're getting all cheering now, aren't you? I can see it in your eyes. It's not like welling up. Watson arrives uh, in Park Fairway for Power Max Racing. <laughs> All worth it now. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Go oh. so well. Down your stuff. <laughs> Have you still got your microphone on? Yeah. Right. Well done. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Good year. That's the year. Part of me is in a bit of maybe disbelief. I know we've won it and all that. Just I, I did think to myself how I would feel at this point. I mean, I'm over the moon for the team and everyone for this. With all the hard effort that everyone's put in over this year. It's well deserved. I think one move is going to sink in. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He's done it. I might have given you a scare at times there, but we, he got the job done and just wrecked. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Good fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bad.
Chaka Flag is at the ready to bring an end to the 2023 Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship season. The last race won by Jake Hill. Josh Cook second. Third goes the way of Stephen Jelly. And like to blaze, the outgoing champion Tom Ingram comes across the line as Ash Sutton is still attacking on the run to the flag. And he gets ahead of Mikey Doble to be 13th. The champion crowned earlier on in the day. He ends the season 13th in the last race, but a fourth championship has gone his way. Guess who? Just yours, or? Manufacturers. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get in. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, mate. Yeah. Yeah. 2023, completed it. Yeah. Completed it. <laughs> Where's the age? I thought y'all just couldn't do maths. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your maths. Well done, Dexter. Congratulations. Hey, Dexter, you can afford a smile. Oh, Brian. Alan Gow onto the podium to make the presentation. And the first award that he will give out is the Champions Trophy. The 2023 Quick Fit British Touring Car Champion is Ashley Sutton. <laughs> It's a heavy one. Your 2023 Jack Sears Trophy Champion is Andrew Watson. So yeah, you know, we've finished the day uh, in P8, P9 in the championship, so not not what I hoped, if I'm being honest, for my first first year at WSR, I thought I'd be a bit closer. But it has been a big learning curve, moving to, to West Surrey and not being in the family team. But I've really, really enjoyed working with, with these guys behind me and Jake, uh, all the engineers at WSR. It's been, a, it's been a mega year, 
definitely had a mid-season slump and a bit of a mental mental battle. For me personally, the whole reason why I did this was so when my three kids grow up, they can watch their old man on TV and hopefully be quite proud of him. So that's why I've done it. I think we can be proud. We've had a few pro, three podiums and I'm already looking forward to, to next year. Yeah, disappointing weekend really. We, we well, not disappointing weekend. The team have won everything there is to win apart from the Jack Sears, I think. So it's been a great weekend. It's been fantastic to be a part of Napa Race UK. But for me, we've just had a really off, off, off kilter weekend, you know. And you know, for me personally, it's just been a great, you know, Napa Race in UK this year has just delivered, hasn't it? And um, you know, I need to thank all the guys, thank everybody that's that's allowed this to happen. You know, thanks to my my long-term sponsors, Cataclean, for moving that that position on and allowing me to to have the opportunity. So. Looking forward to next year already. Going to get down to the gym, lose some more weight, see what 2024 brings. Well, what have we got here, Samuel? This here is the biggest egg, egg cup you can ever get, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a year. Thanks to this man. He's been flawless all year, all the, all the team have. So it's their hard work and prep that, you know, it's a whole season and consistency and piecing together a championship is not easy. And these guys, dedication, five days a week, seven days a week, eight days a week. It's incredible what these guys do, so this was as much for them as it is for me, so can't thank them enough. Well, at the start of the year, look, we didn't know each other, did we? We turned up... No. Uh, Crossed one, eh? You know, now, now it feels like we've, <laughs> we've known each other... Ages, uh, yeah, years. Yeah, too long, but... Oh, so, I mean, we didn't... We turned up, we didn't really know what to expect, did we? And, um, nah, just, we, go, just move through it and go, go with the flow, and then Donington happened, and then... Came out the block strong, yeah. you know, and that set us up for a great year, so... Donington happened, and then the whole mood in the team changed. Whole mood. It was a positive. You're actually building the cars for pe for a person that's actually got a chance of doing something. And now, what, six months later, he's done it. Best rookie in the country, <laughs> possibly the world. In with the, the world? With the biggest egg cup. <laughs> On the limit, take four, completed it, mate. <laughs> yeah!